Industrial factories always consume energy and create pollution, right? Think again. This factory and warehouse are literally using their waste to grow an epic food forest. It's abundance. The waste is transformed into rich soil that supports plants. Lemon. The bananas and the papaya. The plants help cool the massive warehouse, and the irrigation is supplied by their treated wastewater and even rainwater harvested from the roof. So how exactly did one of the largest spice companies in the world create a perfect harmony between industry and ecology? To find out, I traveled to the Indian city of Pune to meet with one of the leaders of the Suhana Spice Empire, Anand Chordia. Anand's grandparents founded the company, and when he got old enough to start making company decisions, he wanted to create a truly sustainable company. Because the food industry uses about 30% of the world's energy and emits about 30% of the world's greenhouse gases. So while the food industry feeds us, they're putting the entire planet's health at risk. But Anand Chordia had a vision for how this could totally change, and he went full permaculture. Could this site be used as a blueprint to transform factories all across the world into thriving gardens? Thankfully, Anand agreed to share the details of how it all works. If I'm looking at my factories, I want them to be clean, neat. I don't want to dump this anywhere. I don't want to burn the waste. I need to make sure it is recycled, upcycled, refurbished, or whatever done in a right appropriate way, which makes planet healthier and healthier. So the initiative has started. This is our global warehouse where we dispatch spice products to almost nine states of India and more than 30 countries all over the world. When we process any agricultural commodity, we will be producing byproducts or waste. And to be honest, for me, Andrew, waste is a resource at wrong place. It's very important that we have a innovative, creative and scientific outlook and then we can really tackle with this whole problem of uh, waste to wealth. And I also say waste to health and I'll show you how we do that. We have coriander sticks, ginger waste, garlic waste, all will be put on the soil and all will become soil. We had dug this rock, yeah. then by constantly putting mulch, the soil has got wow. created now. So you've actually created like a foot of soil on this, top of this bedrock. Yes, in last eight years by fixing a lot of waste. So you're taking that woody waste and incorporating it into food forests that are just surrounding the warehouse itself? Absolutely. So here, this is a patch where we have multiple crop system. This patch itself must be fixing more than seven to eight metric tons of my waste per year and also giving so much green output and fruits and vegetables. So how is this all irrigated? The grey water, the toilet water, yeah. will go to septic tanks. Yeah. The physical sludge will yeah. settle down in septic tank. Yeah. The top flow will go to the treatment plant. It is rocks, charcoals and the trees. And then the water exit is this, which will go to the border. Which will go back down. Right. Back down in the soil. Right. <laughs> ah, perfect. <laughs> All of the water from the driveways and roofs is collected by these grates, which are piped into this open well. The open well is connected to the groundwater, so over the years you've actually recharged the groundwater underneath this whole site. And I want you to try this. Yeah. And it's really good pulpy tamarind we are getting. And is this from your wastewater, do you think? Uh, yes. Yeah. In that hard, rocky, dry soil also, we are getting very good, successful banana crops. We get papaya crops. We have forest trees here growing. We do vegetables, fenugreek, spinach, mustard leaves. It's easy to forget that this is actually a large-scale industrial site. What could have been just a gravel lot rivals some of the most amazing farms and permaculture sites I've ever seen. And the inside of this factory is just as fascinating. 45,000 square foot warehouse. And how many people are working in here? Around 150. 150 people working here and you do not have AC. 
Oh uh, no, not at all. There, it's run completely on natural ventilation systems and uh, not uh, air conditioning. And you can actually see the design is actually done in such a way that we have a lot of greens outside to filter the heat and the sunlight, and we have very cool and pleasant atmosphere throughout the year. You can feel a good breeze here, right? Yeah, there's like literally wind blowing through here right now. So this place must be pretty energy efficient, yeah? There is no fossil fuel used at all. All the vehicles here you see are run on electricity. They get charged by the power which is produced by our solar panels. So all of these forklifts? Forklift, this is a reach truck. Reach truck is also electrically run. I see you use plastic in your production process, but I imagine there's nothing you can really do to make plastic more sustainable, right? We do plastic to oil. We have a small plant which will take care of the plastic waste we generate in the factory. We are converting our plastic also in the form of different items, a dustbin or pallets which are getting designed like this from the waste plastic. We are trying to use that more and more. So that's how we are trying to support more and more recycling of plastic along with the recycling of biodegradables. You're actually doing more progressive plastics recycling than anybody I've ever seen. The point I want to tell, nature is mysterious and let it be. It's perfect. We solve our problems and whatever it's doing on its way, I feel it's perfect. As I said, we just put the mulch, uh, Andrew, on the soil and what next happens, the nature knows. We are grateful and pleasure to have your company and you selected our case study to showcase to the world. We are very humble. We are very humble. Oh, we, we are the ones who are blessed to be able to... And yeah, you thanks. are also now part of Suhana family from today. We want... Yes. Very happy to have you here. Thank you. Are you ready to transform deserts, create lush backyards, and feed communities? In my almost 30 years as a permaculture designer traveling the world, I've put everything I learned into Oregon State University's online permaculture design course, or PDC. The PDC and PDC Pro are the ultimate ways to begin mastering permaculture. Me and my team guide you through over 20 assignments with more than 100 hours of top quality video lectures and resources, all focused on developing your own property or project throughout the course. You'll get personalized feedback from a dedicated instructor in a small group setting. People are always asking me, how can I be part of the solution? This is your starting point. Check the link below for upcoming courses and join us in creating a better world for everyone. See you in class.